Hi, it's Alex. Today I want to talk about Bitcoin. I've heard a lot of people over the past five or more years talking enthusiastically about Bitcoin. Like, Bitcoin is this awesome new thing, cryptocurrency, yeah, this is the future, blah blah blah. And I've heard people advocating its use, and I've seen more and more businesses accepting it as payment. Uh, I run RateT.com, a tea rating website, and I even see tea companies that sell tea online accepting payment in Bitcoin. Uh, I've seen like cab companies offering to accept payment. It's like, I've been thinking about this, and this really bothers me, and I want to talk about why. I think that Bitcoin has the potential to be very, very damaging, and I think that there's a very ugly side to it that a lot of people aren't aware of, and I want to talk about it. So Bitcoin is a cryptocurrency. Uh, I won't go into the technical details of how it works, but basically it's an electronic currency that is almost completely untraceable. It's anonymous. You can use it to trade goods and services, and you can trade it on a kind of open market. There are these exchanges where you can cash it in and get money, and people buy and sell Bitcoin, so the, the rate of it goes up and down like the stock market. It's a little bit like buying gold or buying stock indices. You, you can trade it, and its value goes up and down, and you can use it for transactions, and then when you want actual cash, you can kind of cash out by selling your Bitcoin on these exchanges. The way Bitcoin is designed, there's kind of a limited amount of it in circulation, because it gets harder and harder to mine over time. You need to run these computations in order to mine Bitcoins to create more of them, and that creates this other problem that I want to talk about. Um, but I want to first talk about the problem of the anonymity, the non-traceability of this currency. Bitcoin has already been used to facilitate a variety of illegal transactions. And if you search for this, search for Bitcoin human trafficking, you will find a ton of stuff that Bitcoin is being used by people who engage in human trafficking. This is basically slavery, it mostly affects children, uh, it often involves sexual abuse of children. It's really, really horrible stuff. It's just about one of the worst ethical violations that exists in our world. And this is being facilitated by Bitcoin. People are using Bitcoin to facilitate this trade, and then they cash out that Bitcoin by selling it on these exchanges, or by using it to buy goods and services that they want. And it's not traceable, so it's, it's harder to catch these people than if they were using dollars. Uh, one of my friends has worked for a large bank in the U.S., and there are ways that banks have to catch human trafficking that is using their bank. And this is a lot harder to do with these cryptocurrencies. So when you support these cryptocurrencies, you are feeding into that system. So for example, if you buy Bitcoin on an exchange, you are driving up the price. You are increasing demand for Bitcoin whenever you buy it. So you are making it so that the people who have been using it for these shady things are able to get more money when they cash out. Also, if you are a business and you are accepting it as payment, you are also contributing to that whole system. So for this reason, I avoid using Bitcoin. I've never bought one, I've never bought any of it, I never, uh, I'm never going to do it, and I, furthermore, I boycott it in the sense that if I see a business accepting it as payment, I don't shop at that business. And I would recommend for you to do the same thing too. There's another problem with Bitcoin, which is, it's also pretty sinister, which is that Bitcoin contributes to global warming. Now you may say, what the heck, how in the world could a cryptocurrency contribute to global warming? But it's, it's pretty insidious the way it operates. 
because you can create bitcoins by this process of mining that is very CPU intensive and it gets more and more CPU intensive over time, you have all these people out there that are making money by running these very large scale distributed computing systems. So they have a whole bunch of computer processors running at once doing these calculations to create Bitcoin and they're making money off of it. So that sounds all fine and dandy, except for the fact that running all those CPUs uses electricity. And here is exactly what, what's going on. It's contributing to climate change because that electricity is typically generated by fossil fuels. Now, it doesn't just end there though. There is a serious problem with hackers taking over other people's computers and using their computers to, to mine this Bitcoin in this distributing computer network. So for example, if I'm a hacker, I take control, I have this network of bots, I take control of all these other people's computers, and I run all these computations on it. So your computer, for example, is running a computation and it's helping me get rich by mining these Bitcoins. Now, if you think, oh, this doesn't affect me, I don't have viruses on my computer, blah, 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 well, that might not necessarily be true, because some of these things happen in web browsers. So you go to a website, and someone has hacked that website, or maybe the website owner is doing this intentionally, they have code in that website that has your computer run these computations, and then sends the data back to them. You can get exploited in this way. There was even a case of YouTube ads doing this kind of thing. So, you, without knowing, may have already had this happen to you. So basically, this is why I don't like Bitcoin. And this is coming from someone, I'm a huge advocate of alternative currency, complementary currency. I think that these other non-governmental currencies are the way of the future, but I don't think Bitcoin is the way to go. I think Bitcoin is a move in the wrong direction. I think continuing to use regular national currency, like the US dollar, like the Euro, it's a better thing than using Bitcoin. Um, I hope to talk about this more. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask me. Thank you.